I thought I'd drag this out of my collection and have a bit of a play with it, see what it does, see what it can do and what it can't do. It's a 1980s Sony Trinitron. Now this one's actually a multi-system set. It does um it does power CCAM NTC 4.43. So probably would have been quite a deluxe model in its time, I'm guessing. Um don't know much about it. I did fire it up when I got it briefly. I know it produced a picture. Um that's pretty much it. Um, the model is a, it's a KV, KV2, KV203, hang on, if it'll focus, come on, come on, come on, come on, here we are, KV2032ME, um, and actually looking at it too, it's also multi-voltage as well, obviously it's, 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 obviously it's a, Obviously aimed at the uh, at an overseas market. Um, I doubt this would have been sold new here. Um, it's got quite a, a funky little 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 door that comes away and reveals all the controls. Um, as you can see there, you've got your <laughs> quite nifty actually. Quite, quite like the little little channel search. Thing, sort of hiding under there like so come on focus your bloody camera but yeah and um quite like the way it uh as you as you tune across the um across the bands these leds indicate the progress and then they actually change color as you jump into the uhf section um you've got hue tone sub volume and brightness picture contrast color uh, don't have the remote for it either. Um, two speakers. Actually, this just sounds reasonably good too. Get a headphone jack. Oh, there we go. Automatic program setting. And that's how you adjust it. Or tune it, or do whatever you've got to do. Um, and in the back, I will actually swing it around properly. In a second, I'll just show it to you going. I think the set of seeing a lot of hours, the the, the uh, picture tube sort of comes across as being a wee bit flat, comes up quite green. Uh, the screen controls turned up quite a quite a fair way. I've measured the 200 volt supply screen supply to the tube. All the voltages appear to be. I think it's obviously the set's obviously seen a few hours, but um, I'll fire it up anyway. Had to, had had to fit it. Had to fit a new power switch to it. Um, the old one. Um, was um, was arcing significantly, and it was was taking quite a while to get to get going. Boy, oh boy, has this camera got some issues tonight? No, it would seem we have issues tonight with focusing, and I don't know why. Oh, well, I'll forget that then. So I'll turn it on. Oops. Before the YouTube police slam a copyright on that. And it actually looks better in the camera than it actually does in person. Um, it's quite washed out and dim looking. It, it's it's yeah, it's not the greatest. Um, you can sort of um, just the it sort of fits fits full brightness and that's actually looking a wee bit wish washy on here. Um, I'll crank up the picture. It's yeah, it's what's I mean. It's watchable. It is definitely watchable, but it's even it, 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 it's yeah, it, it's definitely a usable set. Um, it's just that it's. I just think it, I, just, I just think it's probably seen a few hours. Um, I don't know what to do with it. I'll probably just probably just put it back in back in the back in the garage where it was. But I just thought I'd fire it up and. Yeah, just sort of try it and see what it, see what it what it does, just for something different. Um, I really want to get back onto the Pi actually. Um, I've discovered some issues with that thing, and I'll I'll update you in a future video about that. Um, but yeah, no, it seems to seems to work. Um, yeah, quite like this. It's quite neat when you when you oh yeah, it's got some audio crackle there. It's just there all the time, probably a 
probably a noisy transistor or something in the audio stage. But yeah, when you do that, it pretty much pretty much scans all the way through. Oh yeah, it's finding it's finding things now. Yeah, quite neat. There it goes. Alighting. Find one thing on our own channel two or channel three. Whereas where that where the VCRs are modulator output and that's a frequent one. That's what channel it's on. There we go. And we've got a UHF and we'll tune tune merrily away and find nothing. <laughs> so I'll stop that. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, geometry is nice and good. Convergence is reasonable. Um, yeah, so I'll um I will actually just swing it around. Give us a second. It's actually quite a heavy thing too, actually. It's quite weighty. It's not exactly not exactly light. Oh gee, just about lost it off the bench. Nah, just kidding. I would not be that stupid. Um uh, right. So I guess this is your typical 80s color Sony layout. Um, I'm not going to bother dusting the thing off. There's just no point, really. Um, there's some dry joints on the back of the tube neck board. Yeah, so. It's pretty standard, I'd say. But there's a, there's a lot of, a lot of, a um, lot of, a lot of electronics in here. Lots of electronics. I guess that's your tuner IF board. That one's oh god, what's on there? Pearl NTSC, that must be your complete probably your, your, your decoder, I'm guessing, or your colour your chroma section's got all the looks like it's got colour information on it. Colour circuitry. Oh there's your there's your low lights for your RGB, so it's definitely all colour and screen. Oh it's on the back here anyway, here we go. I see 301's being changed. Some stage here, chroma board. Um, yeah, it's all chroma. And what's this board in here? Another another board with all sorts of crap on it. Don't quite know. Um, yeah, obviously for something, but um, yeah. And there's your mate watching everything in there. Yeah, line output, line output transistor. It's a two SD. Looks like a seventy-five. And the power supply one it could be even be a switching regulator or something. I don't quite know. It's got a big layer of dust on it. I'm not about to disturb that. Yeah, but it uh, yeah, for what it is, it seems to work all right. We are having real issues with this camera focusing, aren't we? Real issues tonight. It's actually looking quite pink, quite pink there actually, quite pink looking. I don't know why, but it just is. It's gone rather pink all of a sudden for some reason. That's interesting. Why has it gone all pink? I don't know why I'm turning the colour down. It's gone all pink all of a sudden. Hmm. Bit of a worry, has it gone pink? Oh, probably spun it around. May have upset something. That's better. Yeah. So that's it pretty much. Just sort of do a video on the Sony TV and um yeah. So uh yeah, not really much more to say about this. This isn't really my cup of tea, this sort of thing. It's not, yeah, it's just not really what, not really my sort of thing. But, um, I guess I say because it was, it was a little bit different. Um, but yeah, I don't know what I'll do with it. I'll probably just put it back in the garage and just let it sit there for another, another bloody five or ten years and then decide to do something with it eventually. <laughs> yeah, so. All right, okay, I'm out of here. Till the next one. Bye.